What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and today we've got a new review for you. These are the brand new Nike Vapor Premier Gloves. I've had these hung up in the back of my office for a little while, and you guys wanted to hear about them, so here's a review. Uh, this review is brought to you by Lacrosse Unlimited, appreciate you guys sending these. This is a Lacrosse Unlimited exclusive color, and they look really sick, and when I saw them, I texted Rob immediately and said I need them because they match uh, our helmets and ECD blue pretty well. So Nike Vapor Premier, um, you're gonna notice this is built on that SDX RZR platform with the backhand. These are gonna run you 200 bucks, so gloves have officially hit the $200 price point in 2023. This is in comparison to the SDX RZR2, which is 180 bucks, and the new uh, 2023 Maverick Max gloves that we just reviewed um, that are $180. So $20 more expensive than those models, uh, finally getting up to the $200 price point as glove prices, just like everything, have been working their way up. Um, but they are a really nice pair of gloves. Uh, so the features that you're gonna look for are number one, that backhand. So I wear the current Surgeon RZRs, um, and this is very similar. You've got seven joints for the fingers, which gives you a lot of mobility and dexterity in the finger, and that was the big innovation here. Basically, from here, wrapping all the way around is all one piece of solid foam. Uh, they've got some joints you can see cut all the way through for mobility and breathability, and then cut these pieces up in a way that makes it so that uh, it wraps around your hand really well, and it's super lightweight and flexible. As soon as I put these on, first impressions <clears throat> were they're extremely comfortable, really flexible even without breaking them in, and by far the lightest glove that I've ever put on. Um, and another thing, they're probably the best looking glove that I've ever seen. I really like the limited edition color for Lacrosse Limited, um, but I also really like the pattern that they put all over the backhand. It's just a really clean like dots and lines pattern that gives it a little bit of an aggressive look. Then you've got the chrome swoosh. You got a chrome swoosh here. Uh, and then the uh, regular panels for the cuff, the flare, and then the top part here. So really good looking glove, really comfortable, really lightweight. One thing I noticed that they really uh, did a good job with here is carved away this area where the stick would sit right in your palm. So I don't know if you can see it too well on camera, um, but this whole area is kind of beveled down, giving room for your stick to sit. So it's not uncomfortable there. Sometimes the glove can get a little bulky in that area. So they've got these nice little ramps here going in along the thumb area to make it super comfortable to hold your stick. Um, I think one gripe I have with these gloves is in the cuff area. I think this is the place the Surgeon RZR did a good job. I think not everybody likes to have the cuff fully Velcroed, so they've got this, this little strap here. If you don't like your cuff Velcroed, it can go up or it can come down. Um, it was a little tight for me with the Velcro done, so if you wanna wear it with the Velcro undone, there's kinda of nowhere for this Velcro to go, and it's gonna grab your jersey and be a little annoying and just kinda of flap around. So uh, I know the Surgeon has a spot for it to fold back and clip there. Um, oh, you know what? I'm 100% I'm wrong. They have it. It was just behind the tag. Look at that. Okay, I take back what I said. This has the same feature as the Surgeon. It's just behind this little tag here, so I didn't see it. So it has Velcro on the back side, and you just put it right there. Gets it out of the way so you can wear it, uh, you know, without, without the strap done. I take all that back. I really like the way the cuff is done on this glove. So overall, this is a fantastic glove. Probably the best glove. Uh, that I've ever worn. This is probably what I'm gonna wear this season. Is it worth the $200? That's more or less for you to decide if that's in your budget. Is it worth the $20 more than the Surgeon RZR2? We still have to review that, so maybe we'll do a head-to-head -head comparison when that comes in. I do think it is the best looking glove, and like I said, the most comfortable glove that I've worn. So I'm a big fan, and it's what I'll be wearing this spring. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, it does have good breathability. They're really adding these on gloves now. It's a full cut through at a certain area to the back of the hand. So let me know if you have questions about this glove or other gloves you'd like us to check out. We'll make sure to get a pair of SDX RZR2s so we can review them. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.